to my first summit along a second avenue line on the upper east side of manhattan we are here at the lexington avenue 86th street station and quickly want to give you an idea of how things work here on this track the left track we have northbound trains going to the last stop which is 2nd Avenue, 96th Street. And hopefully for the future, it will be Lexington Avenue, 125th Street in Harlem, thanks to the capital budget being passed. And in this track, and it'll come up in just a second, this track right here goes directly to Brooklyn, all right? So this track's Brooklyn, this track is 96th Street. And hopefully in the future, it will be 125th Street in Harlem. All right, so I um, want to mention that very quickly. Um, oh, it's getting windier. Oh, I know why. There's an uptown train coming. Okay. So we're going to probably get interrupted a lot. We can do some rail fanning. Ooh, it's getting windy. Ah! Ah! But I want to mention something, um, as part of the second phase of the Second Avenue subway, they're going to extend this, yes, they're going to extend this to 125th Street in Harlem in a couple years. So let's hope that that happens because we pressured the MTA for that, especially people who live on the east side of Harlem who don't want to take the Lexington Avenue line. There we go. There goes the queue. So let's do a little bit of a history regarding the Second Avenue and extension. So, nearly 100 years ago, all of this you see was supposed to happen. But politics, over the years, got in the way. And then Governor Andrew Cuomo made this possible in a sense. He said, Time for the three stations. And that's why we have the three stations today at 72nd Street, 86th Street, and 92nd Street. So to give you an idea of where we are, this is where we are. And the one thing I noticed, the first thing, it doesn't say 2nd Avenue, 86th Street. Where is 2nd Avenue? <laughs> that's one of the things I noticed, the, uh, have figured out. And uh, one of the things I notice is this nice work they got here. Because this station opened in 2017, I think. 2017, 2018. Unless I'm wrong. And look, this is for my friend, Movie Man Patrick. Excelsior! <laughs> Anybody knows Marvel Comics? Somebody should know what that is, right? Stan Lee? Come on, am I right or am I wrong? I don't know. Okay, so a lot of countdown clocks at this station. That's pretty good. Because at Lexington Avenue and 63rd Street, I really didn't notice anything. And you got a lot of people who are just, you know, giving their stuff out, I guess. But here's the elevator, so we'll go on that in just a second. But yeah, I love this tile work. And I'm noticing so far there's no trash in the track. Oh, spoke too soon. There's some trash. Spoke too soon. Let's take a look at this track for an example. Yep. Trash. Yep. I'm sorry to say this, folks, but I think this is going to get worse when Byford leaves later this month. And I'm still upset about that, but Andy Byford would want me to continue what I'm doing, so I guess uh, we'll continue it, I guess. So the other Excelsior sign should be on that side. And then over here, we actually got one of the newsstands. So look at that. I, I thought they were closing newsstands. I guess not. <laughs> and um, we'll go upstairs in just a second. I think, um, I think what I'm going to do is, um, I think because of time constraints, 
we're gonna go upstairs. So I think what I'll do is I'll just take the steps up, not take the elevator. Unless if there's an elevator here, and maybe I'll take it up. Yeah. Maybe that is an elevator, I don't know. But there are help points. You got the benches. So at least MTA understood, hey, enough with the, uh, enough with the wooden benches. Especially now with the bed bug situation. And I'm sorry to say it, but area of rescue assistance. Okay, that makes sense. There comes another cute train. Oh, 8857. That's our lead call. 8857. And I notice, you know, I'll make my point as I'm taking the escalator up wait for this train to pull in because a lot of people probably want to head south um i'll notice one thing this platform is very wide so when they constructed this platform i bet maybe if i go to 72nd street or 96 i'll notice the same thing too but yeah i mean i love these platforms they're very big they are huge wow and again i'm familiar with the station so there's that yeah, here's the other Excelsior. Yes, Patrick, this is for you. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna go out that exit. That's what I'll probably end up doing, I guess, because um, there's a restroom I'm gonna be using before I leave. So to give you an idea, let's just take a look around with the artwork because I remember when this first opened, they had a lot of people giving tours here. Oh, so there are two restrooms, okay. I know I want to go out 2nd Avenue. And you get the nice... I mean, I love the lighting here. The lighting here is excellent. Especially two to three years after this station opened. You got to give the MTA credit in that sense. They did a good job with the design of this station. I don't know who these people are, but... I guess this is the artwork for the station. Because, again, I'm not familiar with the Upper East Side. I mean, a little bit I am. I know what Carl Schurz is. Especially taking the M31 over the years, it can be a big headache. Yeah. But it was always worth it, I guess. Yeah, there's 83rd and 2nd. Which we're not going to go out that way. We're going to go out the other way afterwards. So look, another help point. I don't really want to walk that far because I'll go out of my way. And you got an um, elevator. So I think if I'm correct, there's, I think, one or two elevators. Yeah, one or two elevators. You do have an elevator that goes direct to the street. So I'll see, maybe I'll take it upstairs so I can avoid those annoying steps going upstairs. <laughs> Look at that, a day after, day after the Chiefs win the Super Bowl, there's a little kid wearing a Travis Kelsey jersey the day after the Kansas City Chiefs won the Super Bowl. <laughs> That's kind of cute. I will admit that. All right, so I think with that, we're going to wrap up this part of um, the summit. So I think next up, what I'm going to do is I'll take you to a very familiar place I love very much. And that is Carl Scherz Park. Stay tuned for more. So uh, change of plans today, folks. I am actually at Central Park. I decided to take the M86 because, look, folks, we got nice, clear skies right now. If I'm correct, this might be pine trees. These might be pine trees. Oh, there's some cones over here. Look at that. I actually get to see some of the pine barrens today, potentially. I don't know. John would know more of that from Pine Power LI. Oh. Look at this. The Great Lawn's closed today. All right. Well, there's somewhere else I can go. I'm not that disappointed. Go up there. There's like a little lake up there, I guess. But uh, like I'm assuming everybody's here today. You know, it's a nice day. I'm not surprised. I mean, what happened was um, down there, I thought the clouds weren't going to clear up by uh, Carl Schurz. And I thought, you know, since Carl Schurz is a small park, you know... Now they'll wait until the clouds clear up in another day, I guess. I don't know. Because lately, we don't seem to get nice, clear days anymore. I mean, we are getting 
I mean, thank goodness I went west. Thank goodness I went west today, because if I didn't go west today, then I wouldn't be able to enjoy this weather, because leaving at 10 o'clock in the morning paid off, that's for sure. <laughs> so, I mean, if I'm in the moon, I might walk to 72nd Street and uh, take the B train down to 7th Avenue and West 53rd and get the E. So I might end up doing that later since I'm on this side of Manhattan. Or I could walk to Lexington Avenue. And now nah, that might be a far of a walk. I'm not in the mood after doing this today. Yeah, down there there's supposed to be like a nice little river, like a reservoir or something. All right, so I'm trying to figure out where am I right now? See, that's the hardest thing. You get lost in reality, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So I believe this is West 86th. Unless I'm wrong. I think down there is where the water is. So I'll probably end up going down that way. And school kids are out today. Look at that. Because I know they got um got a couple kindergarten uh, kindergarten daycare stuff like that around this area I know that actually on the east side because again being familiar with upper Manhattan lately you got to know your ins and outs I mean thankfully the kids won't be here in the summer that much <laughs> but I understand you know let them out today it's the only nicest day they got all week so but the rain coming in I guess we'll have a quick weather discussion while we're walking folks so today it's supposed to be 60. It's supposed to be 60 degrees, which is very unusual here in New York City for this time of the year. And remember, this is one of the natives speaking. I'm a native. So as a native speaking, I am welcoming this weather today. I want to show you what coat I'm even wearing. I'm wearing, look at this. I'm wearing a lighter coat today because it's so warm. This is my lighter winter coat I wear in March or April. I'm not supposed to be wearing this today. I'm supposed to be wearing my big black coat, expecting it to be in the 30s with the wind chill in the 20s. Here's the ironic thing. There's no wind today. So I was like, you know what? Do it park segment, but you know, I mean, I want to at least do something for you guys. You know? I want to show you something down there. I got double cross in the M86 just now. My bus was supposed to stop there, but apparently that the bus stop, they should get rid of that bus stop because the issue is with the bus stop, the buses aren't legally allowed to stop there. That's what somebody told me just now, which I'm fine with. I mean, I didn't mind getting off on Central Park West because of course I've been on that street with my dad so many times over the years, but you know, whatever. It happens. I mean, thank goodness I got off at Central Park West in a way, because, as I said, I may end up taking the, um, I may end up taking the B train or the C down. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to end up taking the B, because if I take the C, it goes out of my way, and I can't get back into Queens. Yeah, I'm innovative on the fly. That's the one thing you got to know about New York. Know your subways. Because if you don't know your subways or your buses, especially in Manhattan, like I did, because I knew where I was, because I was on the east side and I wanted to show you all the station, you know, things are going to happen. Things are going to happen. And normally when I'm at Central Park, this is where I normally don't film. There's another spot I'm going to take you guys down to in just a second. I have to do another segment for a different video. Look at this, folks. This is open all year round, thank goodness. <laughs> and look at that nice clear sky. Ooh, that's, that's nice. Yeah, because I haven't been this this part of the park. I've only been I've only been to the Great Lawn. Like, I never go past here. I normally go to 86th Street and take the take the B train downtown to get the E. But look at that. That's beautiful. That's really nice. These ducks get to enjoy a nice 60 degree day today. And I also mentioned something um, 
one last thing before I wrap this up. I want to show you the sky as I close out this video. On the Q46 this morning, we actually had air conditioning. I think on the M86 just now we may have had air conditioning. I don't know. The driver wasn't making the announcements on the M86. But yeah, look at this. I think that's a swan. I hope my eyes aren't deceiving me, but I think that might be a swan down there. Wow, that could be a swan. Because I know when I've gone to the park in Belmore before with my parents, and the park I did show you in the Belmore Summit, there could be more swans in here. I mean, I hope there are. I don't know. So, I think with that, I'm going to wrap up this video. I mean, I'm very thankful to be outside today. I'm very grateful I can enjoy this nice, unusually warm February day. But if I didn't mention, um, it's going to rain the rest of the week. So, that's why I'm very grateful I, uh, I took this all in today. I got everything I needed at 7-Eleven on the east side just now. Because I don't think there's any 7-Elevens on the west side out here. That's why I'm glad I was on the east side, I guess. Until I came out here. I mean, I don't mind being on the west side. East side, west side, doesn't matter. Still the same Manhattan to me. <laughs> and we all have a job to protect our Manhattan, right? We have to be all with Manhattan right now. I love this place. And, you know... Still makes my heart to see what's going on in Midtown with all the homeless people hanging over there. So, thank you all for watching. I don't know what to say about the rest of the week being raining and colder this week. So, hope you all were able to enjoy this nice warm day if you were in New York like I am. And until the next one, please take care.